guys welcome back to my channel so i am currently in my new apartment i'm filming this at the end of the day just to give you like a good intro summary to everything that's going to happen but i did film a bunch of moving clips so you're about to see that but yeah just to set off the start of the video so you know i go to nyu and for freshmen it's usually ideal to do a dorm but for sophomores, it's like more common for people to split off into apartments. You can do dorms, but I was looking at some of them and the locations weren't great. I feel like the freshman dorms are really, really good for NYU and then the other ones, I was looking at prices and stuff and I was kind of like, mm, I think it makes more sense to do an apartment this year. Like it's a big step because I'm only 19, but I'd have a kitchen. I would get to choose where I live. I found two roommates on Facebook, like on a Facebook group for NYU. And then we last minute like found an apartment. My rent here is actually $300 cheaper than it would be at the dorm. So I feel like I made the right choice. It's close to Union Square, but it's a few avenues down. So it's like nice and quiet and we're super close to Target and Trader Joe's and there's a Starbucks across the street. So it's like perfect. Yeah, I'm going to give you guys like a whole overview, everything, show you me like settling in for a few days, give you a proper tour. So yeah, if you're interested, just keep watching. I just woke up. I'm moving today. My room is a mess. My mom got bagels, so we're gonna have a little like high breakfast. We're here. There's a Starbucks literally on my street, so that's not good. Here's a somewhat empty apartment tour. You open the first door here, and it's the shower room. Then you come here, toilet room, which my brother's helping clean. And then next to the toilet bathroom is my room, which have my stuff everywhere. We have a nice fridge in the kitchen. It has a bunch of covered space. Um, ooh, really nice oven. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> and come out of my room from the bathroom, and then there's the living area. And we have a really nice little fire escape. Love it. They're making me buy this huge knife, so lovely. To protect you. Yes. From intruders. From intruders. It's a vlog. Hi. <laughs> okay. Here's what we got at Target. Three of these glasses for water and stuff. Two sponges. Got two Tupperwares. Got a mini strainer. Got these two cutting boards for different sizes. We got the big knife set. The chef knife. We got two of these oven mitts. How cute are they? I got three of these plates. I was really excited that they had these. They just sound so expensive. Here's our cupboard space so far. My roommate just put some snacks there. We actually have so much cupboard space. Okay, they're helping me blow up an inflatable mattress because my bed frame's coming in like a week and the real mattress would be on the actual floor. So we're gonna have this for now. Anyways, we're going to go find me an air conditioning because we also don't have a key. Only my roommate has a key, so we have to just keep like switching off to figure out who's gonna be where. Here's the lobby. Good thing we brought a strong man with us. My roommate's not home, so we don't have keys, so we're taking a little sitting break with some starves. I got chai tea latte. What'd you get? Uh, matcha. Yeah, mom got it for us. Thanks, mom. We're going to set up the air conditioning all by ourselves, and then, I don't know, you guys will probably go back home. I, on the other hand, need to watch Outer Banks because every day I wait longer, I'll get more spoiled. Also, we don't have Wi-Fi. It's okay though. I have lasted two months of summer with no air conditioning, so I can last a day without Wi-Fi. Sorry, today's been really hectic and I'm just really bad at filming on like my move-in vlogs. It's so hard to pick up the camera when there's so much commotion going on. I have a bunch of stuff from Ikea coming. I got like a dresser, a bed frame, a clothing rack, and a bedside table, which is kind of a lot of stuff because my room is smaller than I thought. Yeah, hopefully it'll be cute. And my best friend is coming in almost like two weeks because it's her birthday, so she's gonna come stay over and stuff. So the Ikea stuff isn't coming for like a week. So honestly, I'm just gonna live out of my suitcase and stuff. Here's our door, you come in, here's the light switch to the kitchen. This is what you see right away. And then right here, here is the shower room. 
and I'm not calling it the bathroom because it's not actually a bathroom. I just put some things up in here and then we're going to keep our shampoos and stuff right there, which is really nice so we don't have to like get shelving or anything. And then you come down here and here is the actual bathroom. This is just the toilet. Here's some more shelving. I put some of my stuff up there. Here's my room. It's right next to the toilet room and then it's right across from the kitchen. It's an actual hot mess. I'm trying to clean it, believe it or not. The kitchen is my favorite part. The appliances are so nice. The oven is brand new. We're the first people to use it. And yeah, the stove is completely new. We toured a good amount of apartments and some of the stove tops at those apartments were just like archaic. And I'm so glad we got a new stove just because it just makes me feel better. Like knowing how bad I am with remembering that type of stuff. Like, you know, it's just better. <laughs> so. We have a really nice sink. My roommate got this thing for dishes. And then fridge tour, we just have a Brita, my roommate's food, and that's it. And then under here, we just keep some random stuff. Over here is the common area, I guess. We're gonna get a couch. I bought us a table from Ikea, and it's like kind of on the smaller side, which is good, because we don't have that much room. But guys, look at how pretty this looks. Like the, from this way, the kitchen just looks so nice. Okay, then you come over here, and here are the other two rooms. This is my roommate's room. Hope she doesn't mind me showing it. And then this is our third roommate's room. It's the biggest one, but she's not here yet. She's coming in like two weeks. I'm waiting for my dad to come. He's just stopping in and he's gonna help me put this air conditioning in. Very excited for that. <laughs> and the rest of the night, I'll vlog it obviously, but I'm probably not doing much. see so excited so excited my dad just brought this mattress for when my bed frame from ikea comes and then right now i'm gonna sleep on the air mattress and then whenever i have people over they can sleep on this of the three, you said that the first time you spoke to me and you always had to leave you seem to have everything you need I got this just as an easy like little stove top meal. I got these because they're like, I don't know, there's the only snack I thought that I would like want. Then I got this ice cream because it's literally my favorite. It's the only reason I went to Trader Joe's, honestly. I got some almond milk, peanut butter. I got these because I literally love these so much. I got some strawberry mochi, hint hint for Acadia when you come, they're here for you. I got some of these frozen brown rice packets and I got some of these chicken pot stickers. I just got this big thing of sea salt because I used to have this when I was a kid. I hate the grinder salts because I just love everything to be salty, so I need a big one. plans i just made a shopping list of things i'll probably need to go get i did it on a piece of cardboard that came in my air conditioning box my roommate went off to go get the wi-fi router from spectrum bad news though i put on my hotspot last night and i tried to start downloading some outer banks episodes and i used 90 percent of my monthly data I don't know what to say. Also, I ended up only watching one episode. I'm really hungry and I didn't buy anything for breakfast yesterday. I honestly didn't even buy like groceries for the week, which is funny because I spent $30. Like how did that happen? Target. I showered, washed my hair, it feels so much better. I might just make some of this corn and maybe like rice or something. I don't really know. We also got Wi-Fi, so you know what that means. Okay, I made some sweet potatoes and then rice and corn from Trader Joe's because I'm feeling kind of lazy right now. I'm gonna use my new bowl, so excited. It's been about four days since I've read this again cover to cover, so it's time for another reread. Room 
update. I put my real mattress underneath my blow up air mattress because I'm not using the real mattress until my bed frame comes. Uh, inflatable mattress I'm just gonna keep in my room for like when I have visitors. But right now I'm sleeping on the inflatable. Before this it was on the floor and the real mattress was just like standing up, like taking up a bunch of room. So I decided to just stack them on top of each other today. And I made the bed. <laughs> it actually feels so much better. I didn't realize how much nicer it would feel to just like sink on a bed that was like a little more elevated and not like on the floor because as you can guess we have no other seats in the apartment like i've been sitting on the fire escape or the ledge right before the fire escape like for the past few days just to have somewhere to like read or go on my phone like do anything besides my bed and like the fact that my bed was just like on the floor it just made it feel like ill like there's just two spaces to sit i wasn't really able to do any work even watching shows felt a little bit weird because my head would like hit the wall anyways but now it feels so much better Apologies for the bad lighting. Kitchen lighting's not great. But so I went to Starbucks just to get this video done and just like have somewhere to work. It was really nice. I stayed there for like two hours. I went to the one right across the street from us. Then some middle schoolers came and they sat behind me, so it was like time to go before I got made fun of. So then I went to again but i'm pretty sure absolutely none of you care what i got because i've been to the store like four times in this vlog and that's like not good i spent like 35 dollars which is really not good because i already spent 30 dollars there literally like two days ago but as you remember from that part i didn't really get that many things and i honestly didn't get any like real groceries i was kind of just like playing as a little kid and just buying like Ooh, ice cream also i just kind of forgot that like when you have a new place you just have to think about everything you buy like i don't have butter or ketchup and like all that stuff you know if i want to make pasta i have to buy more things to go along with it so it's just not really worth my money right now so i try to think critically while i was in the grocery store and just think about like what i can make without having to buy more things so i settled on salad so i basically got a lot of things for salad i got like lettuce i'm not gonna give you like a full haul because i know you don't care but um veggies two types of protein who knew chicken breast was so expensive like real chicken like raw all of them were like ten dollars fifteen dollars and i was like mm, hell no so i got this one and then of course had to get like dressing for salad but it's just like adulting is just uh, uh, not really a fan of this grocery thing yeah. 